All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about how and why this Glock 19 became my new EDC handgun. Now, as always, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram. The support is always heavily appreciated. And for the sake of YouTube uh, algorithms, there are no 30 round magazines here. These are all standard capacity magazines being fired and we're all keeping, we're keeping this all YouTube safe and legal. So without any further ado, guys, now let's jump into this Glock 19 and how it became my EDC handgun. So first off, we're gonna clear this gun, this magazine. You guys can see there are no rounds in the chamber. So if I do dry fire this thing, there shouldn't be no problems. Anyways, let's first start off talking about this Glock 19 because this is not just a standard generation four Glock 19. Now the frame of this handgun is a generation four Austrian Glock 19, nothing too fancy or crazy there, but this gun does have a few accessories. One I will be adding, and by the time you guys see this video, hopefully it's already there, will be an extended slide release because I kind of got spoiled with my other Glock 19s having that. This one does not come with a extended slide release, or this one did not come with that. So I will definitely be adding that. Aside from that though, you're looking at a Faxon uh, barrel. This is, I believe, a match barrel in gold uh, finish. And then this is a Boogeyman Custom uh, Elk Koi, I believe it is called a slide. And of course, this one is cut for an RMR, which as you guys can see here, there is a Trijicon RMR sitting on this gun. The only other thing I'm going to change with this gun is likely uh, likely going to change with it is giving this guy suppressor sight or suppressor height sights so that I can co-witness. At the current moment, these are just standard height sights. They are aftermarket, but I do want to add suppressor height sights. So that is kind of a rundown of this Glock 19 and how it became. So that's the rundown of this Glock 19. Now let's actually talk about how this guy became my my EDC handgun. Now, what I mean by this, of course, is I obviously got it and I carry it, but the reason why I wanted this to be my EDC handgun was for a few reasons. Okay, so like I was saying, I really wanted to run a Red Dot equipped handgun for quite some time and really get familiar with them, practice with them, because as many people will say, myself included, uh, once you start and get familiar with a Red Dot or RDS equipped handgun, follow-up shots and being able to shoot repeatedly, reliably, and accurately become so much easier with a red dot. And it does really simplify the process, especially when it comes to shooting handguns. When you're shooting rifles, you have, you know, of course, two uh, distinct or you have multiple points of contact with your shoulder and you know both of your hands gripping the firearm so shooting a rifle it's a little bit less critical but especially with a handgun and especially under duress or trying to shoot you know quickly red dot sights make the process much much easier so i really did want to gravitate towards a gun for that purpose or for a re an rds equipped handgun for that purpose so that was one of the primary motivating factors the other one for me is that a lot of people especially people in the Glock community, but by and large are pushing towards a single stack or one and a half stack handguns, things like the Glock 43X with shield arm magazines and other handguns that fall in that line. But the biggest problem is unless you go completely after market, um, because even though this is a bit of a Gucci Glock, you can get MOS equipped factory MOS equipped Glocks and stuff so they can take, you know, sight plates for red dot sights. Um, but you, that level of uh, that level of accessorizing your handgun just doesn't exist with things like the 43X. With the 43X, you're giving up your rail for lights. Of course, it does not come with or cut for an optic at all. And of course, a lot of people, you know, are trying to go smaller and smaller and smaller. But the grip size and the grip width is actually pretty handy with just a normal Glock 19. So while I'm probably quite contrary to most people, I really actually do prefer sticking with the little bit larger, a little bit wider, more chunky handguns, such as the Glock 19, Glock 19X, Glock 17, and Glock 26. The ones that are true double stack handguns, because unless I'm really wanting to go like with a one and a half stack handgun, like my 509C, um, 
by and large, I really do enjoy carrying and shooting the Glock 19s and 17s and just those larger handguns. So by and large, I really didn't want to go with something like a 43 or 43X because not only is it a smaller shooting platform, you're also giving up your ability to mount optics and lights, lasers, and ultimately things that really help you with uh, shooting, especially in self-defense situations. And a lot of people may say, you know, you don't want to go overboard and there are plenty of, you know, seals and special forces people that have broke down their EDCs on other YouTube videos and by and large they're running very plain Jane handguns and to their credit they probably have a lot more experience than I do but at the same time too especially in a self-defense situation there's realistically no reason why you don't want to give yourself at least in my opinion every possible chance for success that you can as we've seen with many different cases and situations that I'm not necessarily going to name there are different uh, self-defense situations that have had to occur at, you know, 40 or where people, civilian defenders, have had to take shots in excess of 30 yards. And so having things like an RDS equipped handgun really do help with your ability to reliably, accurately, and quickly take shots at distances or in unfavorable circumstances. In addition to that, you know, having things like extended base plates help you reload under stress. And of course, having the ability and or having, you know, lights, lasers mounted on your handgun, once again, do help because all of the world at some point during the seasons or some point in time will get dark. And of course, even if you're in a place like Alaska where we don't get dark in the summer, outside it's not dark but of course if you walk into a house a building uh, type any type of place maybe a church if you will those may be dark places so having things like lights lasers red dot sights and other different things like that can help you best utilize your tools in defensive situations so that's part of the reason why i really wanted to push for a compact gun that is still very capable now my last edc handgun was a glock 19 X. I still have the Glock 19X and I will be making another video about all of my EDC handguns and explaining why I have them, why I carry them. And so I still have that gun and it's still reasonably unchanged from what it is. But by and large, I'm really pushing more into carrying this gun because while it does have a little bit less grip and certainly it is a little bit more jumpy to shoot than the full sized, you know, 17 essentially, Glock 17 sized frame, it is still very comfortable to shoot and once again, very quick after just a little bit of training um, or kind of retraining. Now, of course, before my Glock 19X, I came from a Glock 19, a Gen 4, similar to this, but of course, uh, just a plain Jane or very stock Glock 19. So that was kind of uh, my experience. So I'm very familiar with the system. And once again, that's yet another reason why I wanted to go to this system, because as far as Gen 4 Glocks go, I probably have about 3000 rounds through my original Glock 19, and then about another 1000 to 1500 through my 19X. So the Glock system and the Glock ecosystem as a whole, for me is something I'm very familiar with, and I do like quite a bit. So ultimately, this is just, once again, a sim simply just a better platform or it just has a little bit more features to it that I do want or that I wanted out of my Glock. So anyways, that is my new so that is my new EDC handgun. Like I said, I'm gonna be making a video detailing all of my EDC handguns because while this is my primary go-to, there are others that I have and other ones that I will carry for certain types of objectives. You know, if I want something to carry, so if I want something to carry for doing things like running or working out, I'm gonna choose a subcompact as opposed to just the compact uh, Glock here. So there are some other options I have, but by and large, this is the guy that's gonna spend the most time with me. In addition to, to that, I'm gonna be running these, this T-Rex inside the waistband holster rig set up, of course, with the spare mag like that. So I'm pretty excited and pretty curious to see how this guy goes. I've been really wanting to try out T-Rex arms holsters because uh, they are quite they are quite hyped in the YouTube community. And while I definitely respect Lucas and well, I definitely respect Lucas and his channel. Uh, I just want to run it and see how it goes. So far, it's been pretty fantastic, but I've only been running it for about three or four days now. So don't necessarily have enough uh, background on the 
whole rig to give my opinion just yet. So I will talk about it more in the future once I get more experience, but so far everything has been going great and I've enjoyed shooting this handgun, running this handgun with that holster rig and uh, really it's just been quite enjoyable as a whole and so that's the other you know driving force when it comes to EDC handguns you know you want something that is going to be capable to handle the types of realistic threats that you may encounter in life and also something that is I don't necessarily want to say enjoyable because I don't know if ever running a handgun is exactly like enjoying but you know you want to carry something similar to a knife because you want to have the tool to handle whatever task may happen or come up throughout your life so it's a little bit of an inconvenience to carry things like knives or handguns but uh, you know the trade-off is you have a tool that is capable of handling different tasks so anyways this guy though is pretty comfortable to carry and pretty enjoyable as a whole Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.